Sometimes the dream of trains takes the shape of a basement layout. Sometimes it can take over your whole house. And every once in a while, the dream of trains explodes and becomes something big enough to call an amusement park. When you have the urge to take a little train ride through some pretty Wisconsin countryside, you can literally take a little train ride. It's the Whiskey River Railway in Marshall, Wisconsin. This small steam train is the realization of one man's big dream. I was always kind of fascinated with steam. You have to be fascinated, you wouldn't be full with it. I really got started in 1960 in Colorado. And then it just grew and grew and grew. And until now, it's uh, quite a deal. I love it, of course I would, how could I not? Lee Merrick is a successful businessman, but this operation is not about money, it's about fun. Well, you see people coming, that's the thrill for me. People come and says, you're from Nebraska? Here's a guy just come up here from Illinois, I'm from Illinois. I call that home. I was born in New York, but I was raised in Illinois. And to see people come from some place that I know and came here to look at this stuff, that's my thrill. That's the biggest thrill I get out of it. The line follows two and a half miles of 16 gauge track. Along the way, you'll find animals here and there, and also two depots, three grade crossings, a 150 foot tunnel, and a four stall roundhouse but Merrick says he wasn't following any blueprints. I don't know, it's just like anything else, you know, it just kind of grew, almost like a mushroom, you know, it just, you couldn't really explain it. Uh, we had all the setbacks you could possibly have, floods, fire, you have it all. And uh, now we got all this and it'd be hard to explain. It wasn't planned, it's just spontaneous. On sweet summer or fall days like this, it's a joy to be out here in the country. Of course, the winter also has its fans. Right after Thanksgiving, you can hop aboard and head out for a Christmas tree. Our winter activity is what gave this railroad its start some 17 years ago. The railroad traverses over two miles of Wisconsin countryside where people can travel and pick out a Christmas tree. Most of the trees are pre-cut, but in season we do have cut your own trees here at the railroad. On weekdays, we run diesel service, and on weekends, we run live steam. Some weekends, we run up to three trains that'll take people like a bus service out to pick out their Christmas tree. Daryl Klumpmaker is part of this dream of trains, too. He's the guy who keeps these trains running. Well, I love trains, park-sized trains since I was a kid, of course, riding trains at amusement parks, uh, especially there's one called Saltzer's Kitty Land in uh, Indiana and uh, also the Stanley trains at the Milwaukee County Zoo and up in the uh, Wisconsin Dells and was very much inspired by them and used to play with the little HO train and pretend it was a park-sized train. Uh, figured someday I was going to build one and uh, that's pretty much what brought me here. The place is a kind of museum of classic park trains. Everywhere you look there's something special. This locomotive that I'm sitting by here which uh, uh, we faithfully call a little engine that could. It's a small little Atlantic, but it was uh, built in 69 by a gentleman by the name of Norman Gracie, and it ran at the Sanford Zoo in Florida. It was uh, the first steam engine to be at this railroad here, and uh, uh, commonly a lot of these small railroads are 15-inch gauge, and this particular locomotive in that railroad there was 16-inch gauge, and that's what formed our railroad to be a 16-inch gauge railroad here in Marshall rather than the typical 15-inch gauge you see a lot of hobbyists building. Uh, the uh, Oakland Acorn is the locomotive behind this locomotive. That locomotive was originally built, uh, started in 1949 uh, by George Reddington uh, and with the help of Robert Blecka. And they built that locomotive and started a concession operation in Oakland Park. Uh, at that time, it was a very successful operation, and uh, the uh, cowboy actor Gene Autry was there and saw it and uh, was so impressed by the train that uh, he contracted with them to build uh, the Gene Autry Melody Ranch Special Daylight, which is the Daylight locomotive, the sister engine to it right here. 
Um, incidentally, the Oakland Acorn started out looking identical to the Daylight. They are the exact same engine. Uh, it'll give you an example of how dress can change the way a locomotive looks. They are identical in every way uh, except for a couple of small things with them. Lee Merrick's dream started out with trains, but now it also includes an amusement park. There is always something new on the horizon here at Little America. Lee Merrick says he just can't seem to stop adding to his living dreams. But there is no plan. He says things just sort of happen and grow. No matter what comes next, you'll always be able to take a little train ride through some lovely Wisconsin scenery here at Little America.